All right, guys, good old boy 32 here, check it out. So, uh, yeah, man, if you guys have followed the channel, you've seen me put this guy together. This is a rifle build affectionately called Cujo. And the reason it's called Cujo, well, one of the viewers said, hey, name that thing Cujo. And I was like, okay, I'm going to name it Cujo. Well, anyway, this is a really cool little battle rifle scenario that I put up. And one of the best things about building AR-15s is you get to set them up any way you want. And that's just the beauty of it. This guy right here, it's got the Holosun, the Daniel Defense. And most importantly, if not last, this guy right here. This is the Zenit Co. Pursed 4 out of Russia from Ivan Tactical. Now, I tell you what, I've you got me. All right. So anyway, uh, I've used this guy on this rifle on several occasions. Uh, you've seen multiple videos of me taking it out and shooting it with the visible uh, laser. Laser. Hold on. There it is right there. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take it out and we're going to use it shooting with some nods. Oh, yeah. PVS 14s from a friend of mine who, uh, well, let's just say he wants to remain anonymous. But his initials are affectionately called MB. All right, well anyway, let's go over some real quick things about this guy. When you do receive it, you're gonna get it in this guy right here. This is a really cool spun aluminum. I believe it's aluminum. You got a couple bags. We got some other bags. Yeah, instructions. Now the cool thing about these instructions is that, well, they're Russian and they do include a lot of different things that they have. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and put that away. But I really thought it was cool that it came in this really neat deal. And I wonder if a beer can. Eh, leave it up to me to think of that one. But anyway, <laughs> moving forward, uh, I want to talk about the details on this guy. All right, so the Pursed 4, Zenit Co. Pursed 4. Put that away. Uh, it made out of CNC aluminum. It does have an infrared laser as well as a visible green laser. Now, the important thing about this specific laser is that, and I'm just going to say it like this, it's brighter than anything you're going to buy on this market. The milliwatts are incredible. They're not your typical 5 milliwatts. We'll just leave it at that. In addition to that, you also have an IR laser, and I believe that it is equal to or exceeds the PEC-15, and I'm talking about the... Uh, military style PEC-15. Some of the features on this thing, you do have uh, windage and elevation knobs are right here. These are are cabled together, not necessarily tethered to the unit, but what you would want to do is just go ahead and do these individually. Your elevation is right there, and they're done in metric, not uh, and they're not mills. I mean, I don't know what the hell it's called. Millilita. How do you say it in Russian? Val, help me out. Anyway, so your windage and elevation are right there. They are noted on the little turns on the turret caps right there. It is attached to the upper rail, side rail, whatever you want, through a screw. Now, my only suggestion would be change this out. And I say this to all the manufacturers. Please change that out to a torque head. And I guess you probably could. As a matter of fact, I might just do that in the, in, the, in the next upcoming weeks. But you can see where I've caused a little bit of damage to the screw head right there. Now, if I was using the proper flathead screwdrivers, all you mechanics out there are going to give me hell about that. This probably wouldn't have happened. All right, so the controls. Right here, you have your on and off switch right there as well as you have a rheostat buttons high and low. And that's one of the cool things about this guy is you can raise, raise and lower the volume or the brightness of that green laser. And I'm, a, I'm only anticipating that you could do the same thing with the infrared because I'm going to be looking through a set of nods for the first time this evening. Now, it is powered by our CR123 battery, and it's right here. It's one of the reasons why I set this back from the front uh sight post but so that I can get the battery in and out without having to worry about it. On top you have a functions button. This is set on green laser. This is the lockout both the red laser or green laser and the infrared and then that's to switch it over to infrared. The system as a whole is very compact and I absolutely love it. And we'll do a side by side comparison here in a few seconds with the uh, PEC 15. Alright so what I want to show you guys right now is a comparison with the PEC 15. As you can see, the Pursed 4 Zenit Co. is just a little bit smaller, but also it does not have the illuminator on it. This is a full-blown Mark 18 right here that uh, is absolutely beautiful, equipped with the SOCOM can on it. 
And uh, I tell you what, man, is uh, you don't get a whole lot better than that. But I guess that's where we're trying to get on this thing right here. It, it but I'm really disappointed that uh, MB Magpul really. Okay. Anyway, um, but that's a comparison, and we will be doing a nighttime infrared comparison between the two. Yeah, I am willing to bet that the infrared laser and the visible laser on the Perst 4 is going to smoke that PEG-15. Anyway, uh, getting a little on the dark side, what we're doing is we're just waiting for it to get dark, and uh, then we're going to be hitting some steel out at 300 yards. Here we go. Stand by. Now, moving back, we do have a QD attachment right here for the cable. All you got to do is press that in just like so. And the cool thing, let me make sure that that's actually connected and it's not. There's a uh, dot in there that tells you where you're supposed to connect it to. The, and let me do that real quickly because one of the things that I like about the switch tape is that it's CNC'd aluminum as well with a rheostat on top of it so you can adjust the brightness of your laser up here. You do have an on and off switch so you don't have any accidental discharges which is really nice and it's held on by two flathead screws and a rubberized tape switch. Let's go ahead and put that back on here real quick. And all you got to do is you fill it, it snaps in there and boom, oh I got it turned off. That's why it's not working and there you go. Now, I don't have to illustrate to you how bright this thing is because I've done it in past videos, but we're going to go ahead. I'm going to manually or re-verify the zero here in a minute. We're going to use the old Sean Ryan's 36-yard zero. I am going to be shooting 55 grain, uh, 5.56 five, through this thing this evening, and we should have a whole lot of fun. Other than that, that's it. But the tape switch is something that I really enjoy. And that rheostat button where you can raise and lower the brightness of that laser is outstanding. So other than just looking phenomenal, the operation of the laser is impeccable. <laughs> Peck, get it? <laughs> Peck. So uh, one of the things also that I would like to mention, it is not waterproof. And that would probably be the only downfall. But I know a couple people who know a couple people who are over uh, in the sandbox right now who have these strapped up and they've gotten wet and they don't have any problems. And I'll just leave it at that. But other than that, that we're going to go ahead and wait till it gets dark out here and we're going to knock it out. Should be a fun review. We're going to set some steel out and uh, just have a good old time. MB and I, we're good friends, and I can't wait to uh, test out his nods and do a side-by-side -side comparison of the PEC-15 with this thing. All right, here we go. Let's wait till it gets dark. Y'all be good. Be right back. All right, so here we are, guys. We're out here on the night. Now, we've got a, a sky that's, uh, the moon is about 75% out. And the first one we're going to do is this is the PEC-15. Now, this has the, what do you call it, safety screw in it that uh, keeps it from, uh, you know, being too bright. But anyway, uh, so we'll go ahead. We're going to illuminate it with the infrared. Shoot that down, point it down at the 25-yard, uh, if you don't mind. All right. There's the 25-yard. And you can see the shadow from the moon right there. It's absolutely incredible. There is our beautiful skyline. All right, so we're going to take it on out to, that's 100. There's the 200. Keep going 300, go to your left a little bit. All right, so it's pretty much disappeared at the, like the 600 yard. Okay, so now let's do the visible laser. Uh, go ahead and point that out. That's, this is red, which is kind of fun. It's Christmassy. And 25. that's the 25. And let me go ahead and get the camera settings. Okay, 25. Go to the 50, there's your 100. All right, we've lost it on our camera. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and grab the first four, uh, Zenit Koo, and we'll do a quick comparison. Stand by. All right, so here we are. Um, now go through the illumination uh, settings, the rheostat on the side, turn it up and down. There it goes, it's on flash mode. Let's do go you have a constant on? There's a constant on, just press it and release. Okay. Okay, turn it all the way down, that's to the left. Now I'll turn it all the way to the right, and that's high. Okay, so you guys can actually see the beam through there, and I'm sure the PEC-15 would do a pretty decent job at that. And all right, so what we want to do, that's the 100, and that's 50, bring it out to the 100, take it to the left a little bit. All right, up the hill, 
keep going keep going keep going yeah and that's the 1000 and that's way up in the go ahead and point it up in the sky let's see what it can do oh i know really okay so let's do this let's go ahead i'm going to take the nods away um and we will go ahead and switch it to visible green laser Holy smokes, you guys can't hardly see that. I'm gonna, I think the, yeah, I've got my stuff turned all the way up. All right, so bring it on up. That's 100, 300, it's all the way up to 1,000 and we've lost it. But I will tell you this, you can actually see that thing. Anyway, guys, that's it, man. The uh, Purse 4 from Zenit Co. You can get this thing at Ivan Tactical. 450 bucks or something like that. I know that they're selling them on eBay, but, uh, do the lasso. There it is. That's probably the brightest laser I have seen. Mm. It's Coda Boy 32 with MB. Thank you very much for the use of all your cool stuff. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. And uh, we're going to go ahead and clean up this brass stuff. But man, is that on high? Yep. Wow. That thing's bad to the bone. It's Coda Boy 32. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. I am out of here. There's what it looks like at the fire on. We're out. Recording now. Okay, so what, uh, all right, so MB is going to take the firearm that has the purse four on it. He's going to go ahead and light it up. Pressure so, switch? Pressure switch. All right, that's the, that is the green laser. Now go ahead and flip the switch over. The whole way? The whole way. Okay. All right, now. Let's see what that laser that looks like. The infrared. Okay, there we go. I wish I could get this thing to. All right, so that's it lit up. And unfortunately, I, I wish this, it would show you, but you can actually see the beam itself. Turn it. Is that all the way up? Yes, sir. Okay, move it around. All right, so go to your right a little bit with it. You no, know, with the laser itself. This one's Point the rifle to the right. There you go. Now you can see it. Hold on. Let's see if I can. What we can do is go back and forth with it. Okay. To your left. Aim to your left. There we go. All right. Shoot it all the way out there. Raise it all the way up the hill. And there you go. You can see the laser there. Okay. That's a good example there. Uh, that's about the 400. Keep going. 500, 600, take it up to the 1,000, that's a 1,000 yard. Drop the rifle down and aim it up. There you go, now you can see it. That's the 1,000 yard mark down there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and break the PEC-15 out and see what it does, stand by. 